Hey guys, welcome back to our Zend Framework 2 series. In the last video, we made it so that we could fetch data from the database and also so we could insert albums. So now what we want to do is we want to be able to edit the albums and delete them. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the edit action. Okay, so this is going to be in our album controller and edit action. Okay, and let's just copy what we have here. and paste that in okay so what we're doing is we're setting the id all right the id we're getting from the from the url using this from route um and if there isn't one we're setting it to zero and then we're saying if there's no id we're just gonna return to the add form okay and then right here we have a try catch block and we're going to try and get the album okay using get album pass in the id now this get album is coming from the album table you can see right here okay so it uses the table gateway to try and select the data uh, and then return it all right um, let's see then what we're doing is we want a form okay new album form and then we want to bind that data to the form using the bind method okay so we're getting the data here and then we're passing it in or binding it to the form here all right and then uh, what we're doing here is we're checking to see if the form is submitted if it was then we want to validate with set input filter we want to set the data and if everything goes okay then we're going to save the album all right and then finally redirect back to album all right so that's what this does uh let's see look at the difference this is just explaining everything i just did um and that, yeah that should work now we also need to create the view all right so i'm going to copy this that's going to go let's save that that's going to go in the view and then edit. Okay, we'll paste that in. Now, this is pretty much identical to the add one. Okay, if we look at the add. All right, except we have um, this here where we're setting the ID and stuff. So let's save that and let's see if it works. Okay, so let's see. We'll edit this one here. Uh, what's this? An error occurred. Uh, serializable extracts expects the provided object to implement. Uh, all right, so it's looking for get array copy. Let me just see if. Oh, oh, okay, I missed this part. Uh, we need to edit the model, and we just want to add get array copy. Okay, so we'll go to model and then album. And let's just put this like that. And save it. Okay, so now we have our form. And you can see that the data is already in there. So my new album. And let's say even newer album. We'll change this to um, some artist. Okay, edit. And there we go. Even newer album, some artist. So we can now edit albums. So now what we want to do is we want to be able to delete them. So let's go back here and go to deleting an album. And we're going to have to edit the delete action. So we're going to just copy this. Okay, then we're going to go to uh our controller and just paste that here okay so this is very similar to edit we're getting the id here from the route uh we're getting our request we're checking to see if it was submitted um and then we're going to call delete album all right so let's save that and then we need to create a simple form so this is going to go inside of the delete view. OK, 
Okay, so delete, paste that in there. Uh, whoops. Okay, so basically all this is is a button. It's a submit button, and we're sending in a hidden input, which is the ID. All right, so let's save that. And let's see, let's go reload and delete. Okay, it's going to ask us if we're sure. Yes, and it's gone. All right, so we now have full CRUD functionality. So next thing, the way we have it now is we have a home page which displays this, okay? And then we have to click albums to see our albums. Well, we don't want this. This page is, is useless to us. We want the albums page to be the home. All right, so what we can do is we can edit our route file. So let's go into the application module this time. And then we want to go uh, config and then module.config. All right. And let's see, we have this home here, which is right here, and we're setting it to uh, controller slash index. All right, well, we want to change that to this controller uh, slash album. All right, actually, I can just go like this. Okay, and if we wanted to, you could also change the at default action but we want it to be index. All right, so let's try this now. If we go home, all right, so we're getting a 404 error. Could not be mapped to an existing class. Uh, let's see, what did I do wrong here? Oh, we need this to be album, okay? The album module, because right now it's application. Okay, good. So now the, the index, the home page is this. So now we can get rid of this link right here, this albums. So let's go to layout and go to our nav bar and get rid of albums. Okay, so now we just have a home and we have add album. All right, I'm also going to get rid of this class active. And there we go. So we have our home page and we have the add page. So that's it. We have our application. If we go to the documentation, we just have a conclusion page. So what do we do from here or what do you do from here? Um, I would suggest maybe creating some kind of authentication, uh, some kind of registration and login. And you want users to be able to log in and create their own set of albums and only have access to their albums. Um, that's something you could do. You could also move on to maybe create some, some genres or categories that would probably mean creating a new module or maybe a sub module. All right. So I'm not going to promise anything, but I will try to um, go deeper into the Zen framework uh, in another video or another video series. But um, yeah, if you guys liked this, please give it a like, give us a, a subscribe if you're not already. And I will see you next time.